a very good morning to you all. Respected Dimitri, Sai Kumar Sir, and all other dignitaries of the IP, and the beloved Sri Vidyan, Secretary of Our Joint Secretary of Our Dean Ayanam Institute of Technology, Ganesh Editor, Nita Manam, Mahesh Vermanam, all other dignitaries, eminent persons, women eminent persons here, and really I am feeling so privileged today that after seeing all of you and uh, just before few days back I have taken the decision that I have to stop my career due to my children but now I have taken the decision that I have to continue my career and I have to do well for my institution <laughs> Malaradi Engineering College for Women one among the best women's colleges in Telangana state NAC accreditation with A grade I'm also one of the assessor of NAC and NBA accreditations to the department and short span of time we are going for the autonomous status and ISO 9001-2015 certified and this entire credit, the award what I have received, the entire credit goes to my husband who supported me a lot in all aspects and now I am today here and apart from that our uh, like no home institution Jean Aranama Institute of Technology and I learnt a lot from that institution in all aspects with the kind cooperation from the management and as well as at present our chairman sir Sri C.H. Malla Redigaru, the member of parliament a prestigious Malkasgiri constituency and I am really thankful to them and for giving such a nice career to me and for standing in front of you and really I am so proud today that and once again thank you very much to all the people we all decide that we have to serve to women and further we will see like women will do anything we will have to prove that like women will be in any field in any place and they can reach to the top positions all our coming youth they will uh, we all support them uh, to reach to the heights thank you very much for giving such a nice opportunity a oh, very good afternoon and respected dignitaries and uh, my fellow awardees Congratulations to all of you uh, for receiving such an award. Uh, I am really privileged to receive this award and that too in the women's category definitely it feel, makes me feel proud about it. Uh, and I am from Agriculture University and I would like to share with you that 70% of the contribution in agriculture would be from the women. Though the decision making but uh, unfortunately the decision making lies with the men but uh, work wise uh, women are contributing about 70 percent so uh, maybe i wish that the decision making power also moves on to the in the hands of the women uh, in future and then uh, since my university agriculture university is involved with three we have three mandates like extension teaching and research so all the three aspects we find now that more and more uh, involvement of women and the women performance and efficiency is also really an acknowledged by our apex body that is Indian Council of Agriculture Research. So recently in the Vice Chancellor's Conference also how to empower women in agriculture universities was the theme. So uh, now uh, it is not that it is a new one that everybody knows that women plays a very important role in the society. But uh, now practically every person feels that how ne best we can empower them uh, so that uh, the society moves forward with much more greater speed. Uh, thank you once again to all the organizers for uh, uh, recognizing my effort and this also comes with a responsibility. The award definitely uh, puts in, in much more responsibilities on our shoulder to prove that, uh, that we received this award and we will go ahead further with our uh, efforts uh, to make this society a much more better place to live. Thank you so much, one and all. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dr. Jayashree, Principal Vanita Mahavidyalaya. First, let me uh, congratulate the team members of uh, IPE for organizing such a wonderful function. And I also thank them for choosing me as a suitable person for the award. I think they have to select few and hence they have selected the, us. I think every woman of India deserves an award for her strength, for her bravery and for her patience and for her work. And uh, I thank every person who is uh, involved in uh, making me reach this position to receive the award. And I uh, wish a good and bright future for the members of 
Institute of Public Enterprise. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. I am Dr. Bhashwati from Naipur, Hyderabad. I am thankful to the jury members, organizers, uh, family, friends, and my teachers for this award. And this award is a huge encouragement to me and to all other women scientists like me. So this award is dedicated to the women. Thank you. Respected dignitaries on the dais and off the dais. I feel happy to declare, and I, I hope all of you will agree with me when I say, the, handle, the hand that rocks the cradle got the power to rule the world. I strongly believe in, really I'm privileged to stand here today because women from different fields, like scientists, principal, deans, and directors, so we are proving that whatever may be the challenge that is be, that has been given to us, again and again we are proving women are good managers. We manage our family, we manage our uh, children, education, each and everything. Then some lady just now told, then I, I want to share my experience with you. Just a few days back, I was talking and I was about to take a decision in by 2020, I'll be completing the service of 30 years, then I thought to take a break. Then I was discussing with the one retired uh, professor who came to our college as external. She is 64 years old, still doing the controller of examinations. Then she was sharing with me, God has given you a chance to educate the world. Why you want to stop now? Right? Then I took again one more decision to continue until my last breath, whatever I can. <laughs> then I dedicate this award to two people. One, my mom, who believed strongly the women education is most important, whom I lost very early in life. Second thing, my husband, Dr. Vijay Kumar, who believed in that I'll become a good teacher and who brought me into teaching. Thank you all. Good afternoon, everyone present here. Uh, thanks a lot, jury member, organizers, and all so many inspiring ladies sitting over here. It it's actually feels uh, quite proud when we see that uh, after every day's struggle, there are ladies who stand by and who stand in front and prove that struggles don't stop, they make us stronger and stronger. So thank you so much for giving this inspiration. This thanks is for all those senior ladies present here who have got the award. And they are making me feel proud and inspired again because today I have left two years kid at home who is ill. And I thought I will not go for it. And I'll just uh, sometimes, after some time, I'll stop my career and just go for nurturing her. But when I saw so many ladies present here, senior professors, principals, and they all have reared the kids. So one inspiration for lifelong that yes, we can make a difference with all the struggle which we face. Another important point which I would like to make here, as uh, it was uh, presented by Mr. Pandit, inspiration. I questioned twice why I'm getting this award. It came as a surprise for me. Suddenly, one day, I got this email stating that you have nominated and you are actually selected for the award without knowing, without go undergoing any process. So I questioned this, literally questioned it two, two times, and got to know that somebody has nominated your name. And who is that somebody? Some, some of your students who were questioned and that nominated. So that actually shows that, yes, there is present, uh, there is somebody present somewhere who got touched with our work and yes, we made some difference. At least I made some difference to somebody's life. So thanks to all those who have got inspired. Thanks to all those who are inspiring here. I really got a lot of inspiration today. Thank you so much for providing me this opportunity. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Divya, I'm the principal of Nallamallarid Engineering College. I'm also a part of the management of the college. So being in that position, yes, definitely. I Actually, I didn't know about this uh, award, these awards at all. The same thing, what uh, she was talking about, I too was in a dilemma whether to go or not to go, <laughs> and all these. Uh, one thing I would like to 
just my observations in my college it's a co-education college wherein year by year we found the number of uh, girl students increase and now it is about 40 to 45 percent uh, students are girls in my college this almost the faculty strength is also similar in the similar uh, uh, ratio for 40 percent of the faculty are uh, female faculty definitely the the teachers i mean the teachers are educators the la lady educators are definitely different compared to male education that's what is a general observation uh, as an administrator they are more sincere more hard working and uh, the work difference is definitely evident i don't know why i mean we all know the reason why we always keep uh, telling the faculty please do the, do it like those lady faculty who are, <laughs> who are working and uh, one thing is very much uh, uh, we have to all the teachers or all the ladies who are there please encourage the people around you to continue their uh, jobs there are many here who have spoken here saying they wanted to quit their jobs because of some family reasons and all all the people around and if we are able to support if, if we can support them and if we can give them some kind of uh, uh, s help them in some ways to continue their uh, work definitely it's a very good uh, it's very much helpful for the society uh, as i've seen there are many teachers who just wanted to take a break and we have tried to give them some kind of support give them some break for some time and then given some kind of support they have really done very well in the uh, in their uh, work so please give support to your colleagues because all of you are in a very in a higher position definitely you can support the people who are uh, working with you who are uh, uh, working in your institutions if you are able to help them out and support them for growing further that would be really great thank you very much for giving me this opportunity and thank you very much for the organizers good afternoon everyone i am malishwari principal of sridevi women's engineering college I should really say, uh, thanks to this non-profitable organization, I feel uh, it is proud to receive such type of an award from non-profitable organization who is giving awards like this. And uh, being a part of this also, I'm very happy. And uh, as a part of this, I also th um, thank all the managements who initiated women engineering colleges to mold them, to mold all girls uh, to fight or uh, to compete with uh, boys in this world, present uh, in this present scenario. So I'm very much thankful to everyone to stand before like this, including my family, my parents, everyone, even my previous employers, everyone. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. And uh, I, my one more request is, please encourage even your daughters and daughters-in-law <laughs> to get such type of awards in their future. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Padma. And uh, I was, as uh, somebody just mentioned, I was also very skeptical when I got the mail because I have seen some you know, places where people have got a letter or an invitation saying that you are selected for some award and then there's a fee or you need to pay something and all that. So I was very, very skeptical and then I actually wrote back to Dr. Bhatia asking, uh, uh, you know, I'm uh, intrigued by this, uh, but and what is it? And then, but then that's when he said that, yes, uh, somebody as either your student or a colleague, somebody would have nominated you for this award. And uh, I really feel honored uh, to be in the midst of this August, August gathering where we have, uh, you know, principals uh, of different engineering colleges and all that. I am basically from uh, IT industry. I was working for 15 years and I shifted to education only in the last eight years. A uh, lot of people ask me, why did you quit and uh, how is industry uh, different? How is education? And uh, really, I'm very happy that, uh, you know, education, the kind of satisfaction that education gives uh, is unmatched. Probably it is definitely not, uh, why probably? It is definitely not uh, commensurate with the kind of salaries that one would get in an IT industry. But the kind of satisfaction is unparalleled because today when I see some of my students, uh, in fact, I was just passing by Nalsar and every year at least three or four of my students 
um, get uh, seats in Nalsar and they join here. And when they come out of uh, you know institutions like Nalsar or there are some students who are in engineering colleges or uh, the other day, last year, another student got into NIFT. And uh, there's another student who is uh, one of our CAT students who is actually in uh, an IAS officer today. So when you hear these stories, when you hear, see the growth, and today uh, the best part is that uh, technology has advanced so much that through Facebook you are literally connected, uh, you know, and you know what is happening with each of your students, and it makes you really feel uh, young. So yes, I'm very uh, thankful uh, for this award, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm really thankful to God that I took this step of getting into education. Good afternoon, everyone. At the outset, I would like to thank Almighty God for making me stand before you today and receive this award. And then, if a man is successful, we say a woman will be behind him. But a woman is successful, it means that the entire family is behind her. So as I said, if I'm standing here worthy of receiving this award, my entire family, my parents, my husband who is sitting here has been instrumental in inspiring me and motivating me to go on in the profession and make the most out of it and contribute to the welfare of the students. I've come to this education profession I'm associate professor and a HOD of Department of Business Management from Methodist College of Engineering and Technology. I have taken this profession by choice. Teaching is considered to be a noble profession. I have come into it by choice. And I'm very happy that after taking this profession, there is a recognition for taking up this profession. As the madam who spoke before me, money cannot be equal to the satisfaction level that we receive in this profession. Our satisfaction and achievement is seen through the eyes of our students when we complete our class. The chief guest of this occasion, Professor Sai Kumar sir, who has been instrumental and has been associated with us since a very long time. I thank Professor Mishra sir and Professor Murthy sir for organizing this function and giving us an opportunity to gather here and receive this award. It means a lot to me, and that too with this name, Devang Mehta, who has been a legend in uh, the development of the software industry. He has been an inspiration in the IT field, in the IT sector. His statement, that is, which is most striking one, making the IT reach at the grass root level. That is roti, kapra, makan, bijli, and bandwidth. So I feel this award is a responsibility bettered on us, taking education to the grass root level. So once again, I repeat, this award is a award of responsibility that much work has to be done for the benefit of the poor. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, three years of experience, my Vice Chancellor, Professor Satinarayana sir, he has given me many responsibilities to me. At present, I am the head of the department, Department of Chemical Engineering in RGK Tiba, sir. So from past one year, I'm leading the department. And uh, before that also, I was the uh, chief warden for our college and lot many responsibilities. I don't know why he has given, but till now, I took all the responsibilities and uh, leading the same thing now. So, like, I'm not married yet. I could see all the, uh, f uh, like, ladies over here, they are having three, 30 years of experience balancing their families and uh, both career and everything. So, I should learn from you all. And this is the starting of my career. And uh, thank you, sir, for uh, encouraging me by giving this award. Thanks a lot. And uh, uh, congratulations to all the ladies over here. Thank you so much. <laughs> But of course, I am a man supported by women, <laughs> being a, uh, the principal of uh, uh, the Women's Engineering College, that is G. Narayanam Institute of Technology, uh, being a uh, the Women's Engineering College. Apart from that, 
uh, even in my family, I have two daughters. Uh, so I am living with women and women. That's why I support I am a man supported by women. <laughs> Thank you. So good afternoon uh, to you all. Uh, we are uh, very much thankful to the organizers of uh, the awardees about uh, the function that is uh, the Devang Mahata National Awards Committee and also the IPE for uh, giving an award to our institute as best the educational the leadership award. So on behalf of our management, on behalf of the faculty and on behalf of students, on my own behalf, we thank uh, the organizers of this committee uh, for selecting our institution as uh, the best education leadership award and also I congratulate all the awardees for uh, uh, the winning the individuals are on uh, indi uh, I mean uh, the individuals are uh, the individual awardees but of course as far as G Narayana Minister of Technology and Science is concerned our vision is to become a, a center of quality education for the women empowerment because that is a the service which you are doing from the past the 20 years, we will continue even in future. And apart from that, the GNTW is uh, once again proved to be a, a PTIW. The PTIW stands for the Principal Shining Institute actually for women. I think we are uh, the very much the proud that the three of our uh, the colleagues being the principals of the different institutions have also they received these awards. Uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Sunita Madam and Dr. Uh, uh, Madhavilata Mam and Dr. Maliswari Mam. So we are very much the thankful. That means our flag is uh, uh, going higher and higher as far as the Narayan Ministry of Technology and Science. I wish you all the best. I wish you, uh, uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, I congratulate all you. I mean, for the, your, uh, the future endorse. And once again, we thank, on behalf of our management, the, the organizers for uh, arranging this uh, nice, uh, the wonderful function ex exclusively for the women. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, all of you. I'm Dr. Sunita, founder principal for the Budding Engineering College, BBRAT College of Engineering for Women. I have been in this teaching for the past 25 years. Out of 25 years, more than 17 years, it, it, it was with uh, women engineering students. So working with women students really made me uh, so happy to continue my uh, career only in women engineering colleges. Five years back, I was enjoying my life as a professor. But working closely with women students made me to think my mindset to change my uh, mindset even to be an administrator so that I can uh, motivate and help more and more women uh, faculty as well not only the students. So when, uh, when I received the award the very first thing what I felt is maybe as a founder principal when I get an award I should feel more happy not only for my sake it should be a motivation for the people who want to work with me especially the women people, women uh, faculty. So I thank uh, IPE and Divang Mehta Foundation for encouraging all successful women with uh, such award. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Respected dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, a very good, good afternoon to one and all. I'm Dr. Kamishwari from Geetanjali Institute of Science and Technology. Uh, first of all, I'm extremely thankful to IPE and Divang Mehta National Education Awards for honoring the academicians, institutes, and particularly women. Thank you, sir. And I also thank uh, the jury members and the hosting institute. Uh, I'm passionate in teaching. I have 15 years of experience. Every day I feel very, very much, um, very much satisfied with my teaching when I just uh, come out of the uh, come out of the class. So you know, if you educate a man, just you educate a man. But if you educate a woman, you educate a nation. So, women education is uh, nation's development. So once again, I'll thank all of you for honoring me this award. And 
I would like to congratulate all the women uh, eminent personalities from various fields uh, who received this award. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this, this opportunity. Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for making this program possible. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Professor Mishra, Professor Sai Kumar, and Professor Murthy for uh, inviting us. And we feel really uh, elated to be a part of such a program. And I was, it was nice uh, having you ladies talk to each other and share your experiences. May God shower with more success. May your students thrive and take India to greater heights. And let me tell you, uh, all of you need to add one tagline to yourself. Just call yourselves mad. Just tell, tell, keep telling yourself we are all mad. That's the best thing because I tell myself I am mad. But what I'm doing is I'm just mad. Mad is making a difference. So all of you are making a difference, you all are mad. So keep telling people what do you do, tell them we are mad. And IP doesn't stand for uh, a different thing, I just realized it. IP stands for Institute Par Excellence. A term which is normally used but abbreviation is uh, uh, mentioned here. Dr. Mishra, thank you so much, sir. And with that, I sign off for this afternoon. And Professor Muthi, if you have any uh, closing comments or statements. She's Dr. P. Rajini, Principal for the Government Degree College for Women. My esteemed uh, colleague, Sai Kumar Garu, and uh, distinguished faculty, principals, directors, scientists, and my faculty colleagues, staff, and other members. The great attention at IP having all of you in the campus. It gives us a lot of motivation. Because of time constraints, and also because of other constraints, they could not come. There was a conference of principals in Usman University. Many of them have to go there because it is a requirement. So as our director said, we will be completing our auditorium. We will have a bigger occasion where we will be auditorium full of women directors and principals. As promised by director, certainly we will have a big function where we can have all the women principals, directors, faculty in that function. Let me say a few words about the institute. The Institute of Public Enterprise was started in 1964. Most reputed institute which have trained many IAS and IPS officers in the beginning. But over a period of time, there was a request from the public sector executives that why don't you help us in capacity building. At that time, in 1980, the institute started part-time MBA course only for public sector executives with the affiliation of Usman Yamas. Still now, that program is going on and we have trained more than 6,000 senior people through that program. We have trained many IAS and IPS officers and many of them have become cabinet secretaries and chief secretaries of many uh, enterprises. IP gives a lot of support, consultancy and research support to the government of India, various state government and central public undertakings, state level public undertakings. And IP is known for its research output. And they take many policy decisions related to privatization, disinvestment, restructuring based on the research output given by the practice. Parliament and various task force committees also depend on IP report and our director of Mishra is also on the task force of many public sector enterprises. And after starting this part-time MBA, there is also demand from industry that why don't you help us in having full-time graduates, managing graduates. That's how we started in 1995, first program, PG program we have started. All we started in Usman University campus and after that, Looking at the boom in various sectors and other need for trained people, we have started exclusive program in PGM retail market. Looking at the boom in retail. And looking at the boom in the banking sector, the need for trained banking graduates, we started PGM banking insurance and financial services. And we also started a program on PGM international business. Then we started PGM uh, human resource management, exclusive program. Then we have 15 months exudation program here at the same campus. Totally about six courses, we along with part-time 
giving program. My colleague, Dr. Karuna, she is also the coordinator for the CCM Retail Marketing course. I thank her for helping me in this, uh, having this award function. My colleague, Kiran Mayi, coordinator for banking course, she also helped me. And Kavita, who has helped uh, for placement division. And all these together, we have about 600 students on campus. And we conduct 100 training programs for uh, senior executives in all functional areas of management. So as faculty at IPE, we have four important activities, teaching, training, research and concepts. The advantage of the students who join here, the PGM programs which are considered as equivalent to MBA or MBA accredited programs is that our faculty who have got experience in research, training and consultancy, they are able to take their work, consultancy as a case study to the classroom. We need not depend on Harvard business cases alone. We can have our own case studies where we involve our students in this consultancy project and we discuss in the classroom. And we have a lot of activities for students. Student engagement has been our prime motto here. We provide them ample opportunities for growth. We have got trained, like we have been trained the students, uh, taking the help of talent screen, a recruiting firm in business communications, personal development, which helped us in having 100% placement every year. We get students from all over India, the mini India in campus. We have this uh, 21 acre campus. This uh, academic block is the four story building. And we have nine story building separate hostels for girls and boys. All our AC rooms with attached bathrooms, a three star accommodation provided, and also we have uh, food court. So all this makes a choice for the students to come over to IPE because of the ambience, because of the research output given by the faculty and also excellent placement we get students from all over India. We are also happy to mention you that we also got very recently permission from AICT to start fellow program in management. First time we have, have our own program, fellow program, through which we can actually have more research scholars. The Indian Council of Social Science Research, which is funding our uh, activities partially, it is, has been giving 10 research fellowships to IT students. We are able to encourage research scholars from all over India for our IC, IP fellowship and ICSR uh, with, the, with the support of ICSSR. Like that, we have many activities on campus and we have a system called mentoring where for every six students, we have faculty as mentor. Right from the date of joining, we take care of students, their attendance, extracurricular activities, any other personal issue or academic issue is closely monitored by the students that has been able to give us very good results in placement and also in their academic excellence. And of course, my colleague, uh, Professor Kiran May has joined. She is coordinated for uh, PGDM Banking Insurance uh, and Services. I also thank her for her support. And uh, my colleagues have left actually, faculty colleagues, because they are having other activities. So I take this opportunity to once again thank all the managements for giving you valuable service. I know they are all busy with so many activities like examinations, university meetings, etc. And we would like to have a very bigger gathering, as I promised by our director in the auditorium very soon where we will have at least 500 principals, directors, faculty coming together. The purpose of this is only to encourage women, as most of you have said. In the world, women, man is also there. Man is incomplete without women. If there is any success behind a person, a man, there is always women. If there is any great thing happening in a family, any great thing happening in the society, any great thing happening in nation, there are women behind that. That reason, a great time, women have been given power in all walks of life. And day by day, the women uh, leaders are increasing. It is a great sign. It is great for the society as such. The society where women are respected, that society will go to greater heights. That is the old saying. That is true. And thank you once again for being here. And spread the message that there is a great need for women education and more and more women education institution and IPE, IPE and also our director will be in the forefront in bringing you here and we also conduct many fellow program, faculty development programs in the institute for faculty, for students and we also thank our Sai Kumar Garu for helping in all these efforts and we thank our director who is always, his vision is that to bring more and more people. Many policy makers come to the institution, we arrange lectures for our students. Is not part of the thing, but he makes it a point that he addresses all the students. So, like that, 
his idea that we should invite all the principals here. And thank you so much. And we look forward to you and your part of IP family. We'll be sending you the newsletter and any communication. You're most welcome to visit our library and use our resources, reference resources, not only at Shamir Pet campus, but also at IP Usman University. Uh, with this brief remark, once again I thank you. I request you to have a visit to our IP library and IP facilities here, hostels, so that you can think of admitting your daughters or sons in future. Or you can recommend your students. It's a very beautiful accommodation uh, where our faculty stay as wardens in the hostels, women hostel and men's hostel, 24 hour uh, Wi Fi facilitated, etc. And good food. So we request you to have a round facilities and also have good food. Thank you so much once again. And I thank especially uh, the Alan Mehta Awards Committee, Dr. Vardia, for helping us in identifying all these people and arranging his function. And he could not come because of his health. So we wish him good health. And also we thank uh, Pandit, Hello Pandit Ji, excellent comparing the program. And uh, Mr. Sandeep Ji, who has been in touch with me in uh, uh, finalizing the name, sending communications, etc. And also Mr. Rajesh, who has been here. I uh, once again thank my colleague uh, Karuna, Hirmai, Kavita, all those who have helped us. Thank you once again.